Hello, this is Level Lord Bo, back with another ship review video, and today we'll be like the new Tier 9 US Cruiser, the Vallejo. Now, the Vallejo will be available in the armory starting in patch 11.9 with a price tag of 22,000 steel. Though she is the second Tier 9 steel ship, she'll she'll be the only Tier 9 steel ship for sale for the, civil, for the foreseeable future. As always, I'll be going over my recommended captain build, module setup, followed by the ship's stats, and finally, I'll give my thoughts about her performance overall. First up is the captain build and the upgrades that you see on the top right. You guys can pause the video at any time to be able to look at the captain build and then the upgrades if you like. Now, as you can see in the build, you can just build a standard or if you want to take IFHE, you can as well, but you'd be confiscating more away from the fire chance. The ship does have a high a high dpm but if you're looking more for more consistent damage not from fires you can if you'd like but i'd still recommend uh using just a regular this regular build instead of the ifhe but of course it is your option if you want to either way it's of course it is your choice uh either way you choose of course. uh but other than that we're going to be moving on to the we're gonna be talking about the ship stats starting with our armor and survivability now, the Valia's armor will be shown on the top right. She has a 25 millimeter bow slash stern and side with a 38 millimeter deck with a 102 millimeter bell armor. And she has 44,000 HP pool. Uh, the Valia does have a 4% torpedo belt and an above water citadel. Definitely take note of that. Similar to other light cruisers, the Valia is somewhat deficient in the survivability department. Though she can bounce shots off of her deck armor, the rest of her ship is poorly armored. The Citadel also sits high above water with a mere 102 millimeter belt protection, which most AP rounds and even Royal Navy BB she can Citadel her, which is a pain to deal with. Now for the main armament, you get five twin 152 millimeter slash 47 DP guns with a 15.9 kilometer range. Now these do have a 6.1 second base reload, with a 7.2 second 180 uh, degree turret traverse and they can fire 32 degrees off of the bow and 32 degrees off of the stern now they do have an he shell damage of 2200 with a 30 millimeter he pin with a 12 percent fire chance now the ship does have 216k he dpm now you also have a 3200 ap shell damage with a 10 percent overmatch and a 45 through 60 degree ricochet uh, angle it has an AP DPM of 315k. Now the ship does have improved ballistics. Shells uh, traverse faster than other US uh, light cruisers like the Seattle or Wooster. It has very similar ballistics to the Royal Navy, uh, Navy cruisers and French cruisers. Now the ballistics will be shown on the top right. Now the Vallejo's carry some impressive firepower combining the DPM of a light cruiser with the ballistics of a heavy cruiser. Her gunnery is also very comfortable thanks to her fast turret diverse and good firing angles. She can also easily keep up her attacks even during uh, radical maneuvering uh, that would throw off other ships. Now, as Vallejo has no secondaries and no torpedoes, let's skip to her anti-air defense. Now, the Vallejo's anti-air defense, you get 5 enter plus 1 outer flat cloud with a long range uh, anti-air of 6.9 kilometers, which is 116 uh, damage per second with a, with a 378 DPS for the mid and 130 for the near. Now, the Vale's A is good for a tier 9 cruiser thanks to her high 6.9 kilometer anti-air range and permanent access to DFA, which is a lifesaver. Though highly effective against tier 8 cruise, uh, CVs, she still struggles against tier 10 in super ships. As for her um, uh, super CVs, I apologize. Now, as for her anti submarine capabilities, uh, she does get air, um, access to the airstrike ASW, which is very nice indeed. You get a maximum of two charges, with the number of depth charges per attack is two, and they do a damage of 4,200. The reload time of 30 seconds and a range of seven kilometers now the vela receives the same asw as other tier 9 cruisers though nominally the same volios is less capable due to lack of hydro to reveal submarines now move on to her maneuver maneuverability uh she has a max speed of 32.5 knots uh with a 740 meter turning radius and a 10.7 second rudder shift 
Now, Levio's maneuverability is very good overall, though mediocre by U.S. Cruiser standards. Her tight turning circle and responsive rudder is the envy of many cruisers, though her low top speed hurts her ability to position. As a result, she is fairly good at dodging shells and torpedoes. Now, up next is her concealment. Now, for her concealment, um, she has a surface base attraction of 11.5 kilometers and aerial of 8.52 kilometers. If you build into your concealment, you get a 9.4 kilometer surface attraction and a 6.9 best aerial detection. Now, the Valio's, the Valio's surface attraction is one of the lowest in her entire matchmaking bracket, near being nearly on par with some DDs. Uh, this helps her a lot in positioning and escaping from troublesome positions. Finally, here is the consumables available to Valio. Now for the consumables, you get a standard cruiser damage control party with a 5 second immunity period and a 60 second reload time. You also get a permanent standard DFAA. Uh, we get access to the, uh, sorry, you get a standard D D DFAA with 4 base charges and 5 with the super attendant with a plus 50% continuous damage and a plus 300% flak damage and a 40 second active time and an 80 second reload time. Now for the rapid takeoff spot, you get five uh, charges base, plus 20% um, plus twenty percent gun range and a 60 second active time and a 10 second reload time. Or you can pick the catapult fighter plane, which is three charges base, four with fighters per squad or 60 uh, with a 60 second active time and a 90 second reload time. Now the standard, you also get a standard cruiser repair party, which heals 14 through 17% of the total HP. And you do get three charges base for a super attendant and 80 second reload time. Now, some things to note, the Valio does carry the unique rapid takeoff consumable, which increases her, ra her range at critical moments. More importantly, she does lack the access to hydro and radar that other US cruisers can mount, uh, likely a trade off for her firepower. So I definitely recommend taking the rapid takeoff spotter plane instead of the catapult fighter planes due to the special rapid takeoff consumable. It's, it's one of a kind, really useful. It also helps you mail the shoe over islands if people are hiding behind. You can use her to do better arcs over that or get some extra range in a uh, in a special in, a, in those critical moments. Now that I've covered the, the Valio stats, I'll now talk about her overall performance. Now, my overall impressions of the ship, I say that the Valio has a high skill floor and above average skill ceiling. Um, since the Valio is the newest steel ship to be released, being the second tier 9 steel ship, currently the only one available, uh, starting at 11.9, though she is the is a US light cruiser, her playstyle is actually that of a kiting cruiser. Compared to the tier 9 Seattle, uh, Valio actually has no utility and actually less DPM, but compensates with, with her better ballistics and gun handling. Compared to... Um, now, her excellent short mid-range DPM can tear through other ships, but she is still held back by her limited range and poor survivability. Now, basically, you gotta play the Vio as you would any other cutting cruiser. Keep the enemy at range while you burn them down. Use islands and allied smoke to your advantage. If you can get close, then enemies won't stand a chance. Now, overall, I'd say the Vio is a solid cruiser, though a difficult sell as she competes against other tier 10 ships for her for your hard-earned steel. However, you won't be disappointed in your choice in, if you do decide to, to get the Valio. Now for randoms, I see she's above average. Uh, she can deal significant damage if left unchecked in randoms. She may even scare away less experienced DDs as many players assume she'll have radar like other US cruisers. Now for ranked, I'd say it's below average. Even though she has the firepower, but doesn't have the survivability to consistently perform in ranked. It doesn't help that the meta is OP BBs can easily overrun her overrun her over. Now for clan battles, if they are tier none, it's very unlikely. Though she has firepower, her poor survivability and lack of utility makes her of limited use in clan battles. Now again, that is going to be my video on the Vio. Um, again, the ship will be available and starting in patch 11.9, which will be coming up uh, this week in October 5th and 6th. So the patch is this week. If it's not, it'll be next week, the 12th or 13th. But yep, um, you can get the ship for 22,000 seal if you are interested in it. Um, but again, that is going to be it. 
If you guys have any questions or concerns, definitely in the comments down below. But this is Overlord Boat, and I will talk to y'all later.